Here he is. Oi, oi. It's still Tuesday. Still Tuesday. We haven't stopped. You haven't stopped. No, you haven't stopped. We've got lots going on. I know. If you've watched the Tuesday update, because Tuesday's this Friday today, Friday, but uh, we filmed it on Tuesday, I've had insurance inspector to check out all our kit, isn't it? Um, so we've had to take everything off ramps. And if you know anything about this place is, we have an annual turnover of ramps here. So stuff gets parked on a ramp and just stays there. This is a Daza oil pump, RS3 oil pump. So a brand new one. We do some mods to it, but we're gonna strip it and show you what's inside. So, so this is for the, the RS3 engine build that we've been following. Yeah, so we do uprated ones and I've actually got um, someone else asking us if we can build them some oil pumps. So uh, yeah, let's have a look, see what's inside. Because okay. you look at them and you're like, mm. um, we don't mess around with a pressure relief. So that is a ball, a measured spring and a cap. Uh, we have played around with it, so I have taken that cap out, we've shimmed it, we've shimmed the spring, and we've also put a screwed plug in and played with it. And to be fair, it doesn't really affect the um, max pressure it kind of does, not as much as we'd hoped. So we actually go for a different way of doing it. Bless you, so, thanks please. Let's get through the intro. Uh, and see you on the other side, and let's get this undone. Nice. We're on. We are back, Dadsla. Yes. With my snap-on brushless demo gun. <laughs> Available for all good... Uh... Uh, snap-on bookshops. <laughs> so Jason will be loving that plug. Yeah. So, Daza RS3 TTRS oil pump, brand new one. So this is going in a build and I've got two more to do, but we modify these. Um, so we're gonna strip them apart, I'm gonna lay it out on a bench and I'm gonna show you what's inside because some people think they're witchcraft and wizardry and they're not actually, they're pretty basic. Uh, so if we go through how it looks. Yep. That flange bolts to the underside of the engine, right? So that's your main seal. So that's your main feed in. Uh, so there's an O-ring that goes around that. And then you've got three bolts uh, and the gear that goes on the chain that comes off the crank. So it's obviously chain driven. Yep. Uh, with a sprung tensioner, it's not an oil tensioner. Uh, you have to use a tool to align the pump because there's quite a bit of slop in a bolt so you can twist the uh, pump on the bottom of the engine. So we use a plate bolted to the engine and then we line the gear up on it and then we tighten the pump down. Yeah. So that's what we do. The drive gear is held on with this little multi spline bolt and it's got a flat. Yeah? See it? There we go, yeah. So it's just got, that's the flat. So very, very important you get that on and tight. Yeah, so you just need to make sure you get that on, torqued right, like you can see there's like crap in the bottom of the thread. So you just need to make sure it's perfect. All right, so there's that. You have got an oil gallery blocked off with this port here. Yeah. So if it's a used pump and we're drilling it out, we'll take that ball bearing out and we'll plug it with a dowel screw. Um, and then you've got the pressure relief valve. This is a brand new pump, so we're not gonna mess with the pressure relief valve because we don't need to. Um, and on a used one, we would normally measure the depth, measure the installed height, take it out and clean it to make sure there's no debris or anything stuck behind the bearing. I won't use my, let's just buzz these bolts out. So just T30s. Um, and we swap, we swap these bolts. Okay. Uh, for cross-drilled head bolts, so I can lock tighten, so I can lock tight the pump. Uh, 
so we change the heads. Uh, so it's on two little dowels, and it will just. This is where I pull it to bits. Now you watch. Just wiggly, wiggly. You haven't got to use a tool or anything. You can see it just coming off a of dowel there. Look. So nice and gently. There we go. It's that like that. There it is. All right. And that is it. So that's the back case. So what you don't want lose that washer. So what that washer does, you, can you see? You can move the blades. So this is what does the pumping action. So the washer supports those blades. So if I literally just sit that back on there. Ah. You see what happens? Yeah. Right. So then pressure fills this chamber and changes the variation of the pump. Yeah, so this this whole unit moves back and forth and it changes then the flow rate and the pressure of how the pump works. And that's just done on oil pressure. So the relief valve in the back controls the max, the peak pressure, but this controls, this has a variance to it. Um, that if you've played around with the spring and stuff, you can, you can affect. Okay. So you just need to... Yeah, we've done quite a bit of play, especially with standard eco tune and that. But that's essentially what's happening. There's a washer this side that supports the blades, and there's a washer on the inside, which we'll take it apart now and show you. And that um, is what holds the blades. I mean, they're not massive, but that's what holds the blades against the pump. So what we'll do is we'll drop this off. Pull the washer out, like so. And... Huh. Yeah. So they end up doing this. Right, so it's a brand new one, so they're not worn at all. So brand new. But on a used one, you get wear marks. You get one depending on uh on the installation position, you'll get a wear mark down the middle on one side and on the inside like down there. So when you strip it apart, you can tell which blade goes where. Because ultimately, when it's forcing oil pressure, it's trying to twist. Yeah. Yep. So you end up with one, two, three, four. So you end up with these blades. So on a used pump, it doesn't matter. They can go in any way. Because Sorry, on a new pump, it doesn't matter. They're all the same. On a used pump, it's very important to make sure you get the orientation right. Yeah. So that is a pump drive. Then this is the case. So this takes a little bit of manhandling to get it out, and it's scary. You can sometimes pull a pin out. So that's the pivot, All right? Yeah. And you can see this is going to come. So we're going to turn it away from ourselves, Davla. Yeah. We're going to make sure the spring doesn't hit us in the facet. Okay. Health and safety. Yeah, there is health and safety. Yeah. We're very, very safety conscious. It's going to go put a put twang. Look away, children. No, slipped. There we go. There All right, spring damper. Then, there we go, blade, there are the wipers, and the important bit, not to lose, that's it. There we go. That is a pump stripped, dear boy. So, we have a stripped pump. We have a strippado pumpido. So, yeah. Intake, right, so it's obviously coming out, it gets sucked in the intake, which is this side, or it gets picked up, and then it gets pulled round, and then forced out of that hole there, yeah. which comes out, backfills that chamber, 
yeah? So it goes in there, backfills that chamber and comes out here. So, it's kind of, I've taken one of the dowels out now, haven't I? Like that. There we go. So it goes in, pulled up through the chip, pulled up through the, the pumping vein and then pumped out the top and that's it. So then that controls max pressure and then this little dealie uh, controls the sweep of where the pump sits. So if we put that back in, look, that makes it easier. There we go. Yeah? Yeah. Right. So the important thing is, can you see here, right, that half moon? Yep. Which is what feeds into the outlet of the pipe. Can you see how, the, how it changes the exposure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it opens it up earlier. So it's pump timing, basically, dear boy. Yeah. Uh, and that's oil pressure controlled. So obviously the higher the RPM, and the more oil pressure you create, you can change pressure. Um, so, and change of, ultimately, then change of flow. So, there's not much we do with that. That's a really nice piece. There's a lot we do with this. So okay. we change that. Yeah. Uh, we change the bolts. Uh, and then, on a used pump, depending on how good the blades are, these are little, that's like a little bit of O-ring. Yeah? Yeah. So you just need to, on a on a used pump, you'll take that out and it'll be quite square. Obviously, like I said, that's a brand new pump, so that's fine. Um, and then they're the wipers. So when you've got the unit sat in, like if you miss your wiper, if you miss that little black rubber piece out, like your wiper doesn't do anything. Sure. So you just kind of stuff that in. And even that's not great. You see it wobbling. Yeah. So do the stop units fail? Are they known for that? No, they don't. They don't fail. To be fair, they obviously just get built up with a lot of crap. Yeah. So if you're not one for changing engines, so we rebuild them on every engine build. Right. Okay. Or if it's a big build, we just tell people to put a pump in. Yeah. So we've got a couple of these to do. Uh, we've got one to do for the build, and we've got a couple to do to send to a company who tune these. But I just wanted to show you how simple they are. Yeah, yeah. How simple they are. Um, but how, how critical so, they are as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wicked little things, isn't they? Are they, um, are they mega expensive or not, not too bad in there? 500 quid. Okay. So if you go into all the trouble of some big engine build. Exactly that. Yeah. yeah. Belt and braces. Yeah, exactly that. So uh, I would say, especially if you go to... Um, like aftermarket ECUs, oil pressure is key on the big power stuff. Um, and even on some of the stuff on stock ECUs, we've put sensors on in and put them on like loggers, standalone loggers. So it is important to keep an eye on the pressure, especially the RPM you're turning on the big drag stuff um, because they are known. Known is a hard word, but it's not uncommon for them to spin rod bearings. Yeah. Uh, I've seen it on all kinds of specs, all kinds of oil. There's one manufacturer of oil that shouldn't be used. It's got nanotechnology in it. Bin it off. It cannot deal with the heat. It cannot deal with the heat on track or on on drag racing because you're turning these engines at a high RPM. Like it's terrifying what you turn them to. Uh, so we use Motor 300V. We mod the pumps. We run oil pressure sensors and oil temp sensors so we know what's going on. Um, on a fresh build, we'll have a gauge in the head so we can see the pressure all the way up to head. Um, and then, yeah, do some trick bits inside the housings. That's the main part of the work in the housings. Get some decent bolts on it um, so you can lock wire them. Uh, because, of course, as you're increasing pressure, it's those little bolts that hold it all together. Yeah, yeah. So, be careful with that. And make sure it is spotless. So when I used one, that would go in our Buzzy Buzz Buzz cleaner. Okay. Um, so it would go in the Sonic cleaner. And like I said, on a used one, we would pull the cap out, have the bearing, the spring, the ball bearing, the spring, and the cap out, uh, and then obviously put it back in. Because you can see it. Can you see little square indents in the bottom? That's what that's what holds holds that cap in. But that can still that can still move. So we'll go in and kind of do, basically, put some punch marks in that some more so it doesn't back away. Yeah. If it backs away, all pressure drops. Uh, and then if it's one we modify, 
sorry, if it's a used one that we have to strip that apart, we put it back together different. We don't use a cat. But that is it, mate. Irish for your pup. Lovely. And if you think the video like we did on the Lambo ones, how different that is. Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, it's all good. So Cool, so? Smash buttons, like and subscribe. I hope you liked it. Um, I get these built and get these done. Um, okay. I'm waiting on two, the head, the RS3 is um, coming along nicely. The head has been modified. I say coming along nicely, it, like we haven't really done much more since last time. Uh, but we found two bent valves in the head. I stripped the head, uh, had the seat skimmed, and we got two bent valves, so I've got to find two valves. Right. So not good. The tale of woe continues, dear boy. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you if you enjoy the RS3 stuff, then let us know. But we just kind of, nobody ever talks about oil pumps. Yeah. Do they? Really? No. no one kind of goes into it. So thought we'd show you. It is a new one that's uh, going on it. So just thought you strip it down, show you what's what, um, and some little bits. Like we've had them apart before, where people have had them apart, and like the washers, one washer's missing. I've had one before where the two orange sliders were in and one of those was missing. So it had no pressure on one side and you see all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So like everything, once you've had it apart a couple of times and you know what, it's, you know what you should be looking good at. Good to go. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So it right. is all good, Mick. So we'll uh, see you on the next one. Uh, yeah, what are we doing? I don't know. All right, should we figure that when you get back from your roller balls? Yes. Where are you going? I'm going again. Going again. <laughs> I'm going to go. Again. I was there last week. It was Brands Hatch. Ah, you see? Uh, yeah, well. You should have come see me. I should have, really. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, all good. All joking aside, we do need to capture a race at some point. You're so, going to come and watch. Well, Next one's at Castle Kumu. Okay. Oh. Mate, I'm leading, two, I'm leading a championship now. Leading one championship, third in the other. Who'd wow. have thunk it? Hey. Life in the old dog yet? Yes. So. On yeah. that note. On that note. Let's go make the tea. Should we have a... I need to go and get some milk first. So <laughs> while I go and get the milk to make tea, yep. smash the buttons, like and subscribe. Thank you to everyone that has, because um, it's jumped up loads lately. Yeah. Um, and we do enjoy doing it, don't we, mate? It's yeah. a laugh. It's good fun. Yeah. And, yeah, we'll see you all on the next one. Whatever that may be. Yes. Doosh.